What would you two do for fun? Well, we had the swing. We did a lot of that. Um, I remember one time spending considerable time looking for a book, a, a children's book. I, w I wanted to read the, go over the poems again. And after I looked all through the house, Mother finally said, oh, I think I gave it away. Because it was, it was younger material than what I, at my age group. Yeah. But I was just wanting to go back. <laughs> so I never did find that poem. Mr. Watchmouth Collar was going one night to visit his friend, Mr. Thingamy Tight. He bathed and he shaved and he set up full rig with his slippers for dancing the thingamajig. I thought it was the craziest poem. <laughs> and we got a radio. Um, but I remember in the old house, Dad having these things that he had put on his ears, and but only he could hear it. And I guess that was the forerunner before the regular radio. Yes. And uh, then we had one little box thing, and then we had a big one. And uh, and rushing home from school on Thursday nights to uh, watch and listen to the Lone Ranger. sorts of things you would listen to? Well, as I say, the Lone Ranger was the big highlight. Uh, Dad always listened to the news, of course. Um, and I remember some, sometimes speaking out, uh, saying something just when he wanted to hear what was on. However, so uh, I was in his bad books. <laughs> <laughs> and did your family have a car? Yeah. I remember sitting there, and, and of course it wasn't, it had stopped running at that point. And here was Dad getting the tin foil out of the package of cigarettes to make some connection. And and uh, so the, the car would run, the car would go. And I, I remember sitting there, Mother always took a little bit of something to eat, always took a little bit of lunch, and took a book. <laughs> So that when the car stopped, she would have something to do. <laughs> 